Departed Souls allowed it to be more about an individuality thing about, you know, leaving your job that pays you for a job that doesn't pay you at all, which is beer. Let's talk about Departed Souls, how you got your name and your backstory of how you became to where you are today. Yeah, absolutely. Asked for a homebrew kit for Christmas. Uh, I brewed one batch of beer uh, the day after Christmas and, and shortly after that my best friend had gotten diagnosed with celiac disease. So after a few times of being over uh, his place and trying what was on the market for him in 2009 and my infinite uh, Google knowledge of brewing one batch of beer, I was like, I can make something better than this. I started working on these recipes so that we'd have something for us to drink. Um, unfortunately, in October 2010, he was uh, commuting between the two jobs and was in a car accident and passed away. Um, so I kind of trifled about life for the next year and a half and uh, parents pulled me aside and they were like, Brian, you gotta get your shit together. <laughs> and frankly, I agreed. So, uh, you know, a week later, a buddy came over. We brewed a batch of beer for the first time in years. He brought up going back to school and sort of reviving the dream that my deceased friend Chris and I had had. And so, Departed Souls, spelled S O L E S, allowed it to be more about an individuality thing, about, you know, going out and doing your own thing, um, chasing your dream, leaving your job that pays you for a job that doesn't pay you at all, which is beer. And additionally, Chris and I had a slight propensity whenever we were a little, little intoxicated to purchase ridiculous sneakers. And so spelling it S-O-L-E-S and using sort of a shoelace font in the name was an, another way to sort of pay tribute to, to he and I. So you pretty much had the conversation that every group of dude friends have had. Absolutely. Let's open a bar. Dude, and we were, we're, we're, we're just as sober as they were when yeah. we had that conversation. We're gonna open a bar, but instead you took it one further and be like, we're gonna brew gluten-free beer yeah. and now you're just, you're living the So dream. you know how drunk we were when yeah. we talked about yeah, it. Yeah, seriously, yeah. <laughs> so you're living the dream that every, I mean, every group of dude friends has had some form of a conversation like that and now you're living it. The weird part about living a dream is there's not much time to sleep. You're always working, yeah. but we are living it, and it's, it's great. I love it. I've never worked so hard in my life. I've never slept so little in my life, but it's awesome.